Hello, what is up you guys? Um, yes, today I'm back with another video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I was busy and had a very eventful weekend and just could not find the energy or time to come up with a fun video, so here I am. Also, I changed the background because I was getting pretty disgusted with that neon pink background, so swapped out a different blanket. <laughs> um, I hope you guys don't mind too much. Also, I have gotten so many compliments and weird looks about my glasses today. And, like, there's a glare. I'm sorry. And, yeah, they're fake. I literally have, like, perfect vision. Like, my vision is, like, a 15 out of 20. Like, better than 2020, but whatever. I just... I like hiding behind them because then you, like, don't see me as much. And they're cute. So, please come at me. Um, that was weird. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I, like, have, like, a thing to, like, <laughs> me drawing in English, trying to, like, come up with things to talk to you guys about, because there's so many things that happened this weekend, but then so many things that I cannot post on the internet. <laughs> um, okay, so on Monday, first of all, I cannot go to school without emotionally and physically hurting myself. Like, there's not a day that goes by that I don't, like, bruise or bleed or, like, emotionally cry all the time so on Monday I was wearing like my anklets and one of them's like kind of sharp because it's made out of like seashells or something I don't know I don't know what it's made out of but it's sharp so I kept like hitting my foot against my other ankle and it kept making the anklet like cut into me and it just kept doing it so much that I just seriously started bleeding. Like, dripping blood. Like, I looked down and was like, girl. So then I asked my teacher, I'm like, um, can I go to the bathroom? Like, not telling her that I'm, like, injured. She's like, yeah, sure. I'm going to take these off because there's a glare. And so I go to the bathroom and I'm, like, washing it off, you know. And, like, the bell rings and I'm like, I'm good. Like, the bathroom's, like, right next to the class. Like, she doesn't care. So I go in there and everyone's looking at me and I'm like, <laughs> what? And they're like, Mrs. Almost said her name. <laughs> they're like, what's her face? Almost marked you absent and was like, where is Olivia? And then, like, I seriously went up to her and was like, can I, like, have the bathroom key? Like, you can't just, like, go to the bathroom. You have to ask for the key. She's like, oh, yeah, like, sure. Like, she gave it to me and... She just doesn't know who I am. Like, she doesn't, like, even when I, like, after I walked in, she was like, oh, that's, that's who it was. That, that must be, um, whoever Olivia is. <sighs> I've had you the entire semester. You should know who I am. But, I mean, whatever. I'm not, I'm not that hurt about it. Um, I am stressed. <laughs> I have so many speeches and presentations to make, and it's, not going good let's see um tomorrow start our English speeches like our how to what like whatever it is and I don't know how to do anything because I'm not good at anything so I don't I'm like making Oreo like Pokemon balls or something like that like something stupid that I could just do and make and I don't go until Monday which is nice but I mean also my fingers black because you know I'm like a hard-working student and like writing pen and freaking <laughs> anyway so yeah I don't even go until Monday and it's still stressful and then I have a s actual like cl like a speech for my speech class I have a or persuasive speech and I'm doing it on dress code even though I rarely follow our dress code because I freaking like wore like like a crop top to school today but I mean that's irrelevant um it's just ridiculous. So I'm like, we don't need this. And sorry, if you can see like my walls, the blanket's not that big. <laughs> and I'm going to take out my hair out because it looks messy. But yeah, I'm doing it on dress code because I don't think we should have a dress code. Like I agree, like our butts like shouldn't be out and whatnot. But like, eh. but like, man, if I'm just like trying to wear like, just like this shirt, like she's not that revealing. I mean, you can see my bra strap, but like we'll ignore it. Like it's literally just my shoulders. And so for the speech, I'm going to wear something that like, wouldn't be considered like in our dress code but I'm just gonna wear it anyway to like prove a point because you know that's what I do and that's the class where the teacher doesn't know who I am so that's all hunky-dory and whatnot so <laughs> C 
cool. She looks more of a mess, but whatever. So, yeah. And I have a final due on Monday. I don't know. We had to, like, create a book or something like that. So, I mean, it's pretty tragic because I suck at drawing and can't do anything like that. So, it's going to be very unfortunate. I'm going to get an awful grade, and I don't know why it's my final, but we'll survive. So I have that, and then when Thursday my sister graduates, so I have to go to that, and it's going to be like an all-night thing. And then on Friday, I don't think I have anything Friday. No, Friday I have my persuasive speech. And then Saturday I have work, and then Sunday I'm sure I have to do something. Sorry, my crush just Snapchatted me, and I'm like filming, and I'm like, uh... Um, <laughs> also, I'm an awful person. Please never ask me for, like, love life advice because I don't know what I'm doing with my life and I just keep screwing things up and making things more complicated for myself. <laughs> my friends are seriously so triggered by my actions, <laughs> especially Tom because he knows how dumb I am and I just keep doing dumb things that look like Harry Potter. Also, I'm gonna take this off because it's hot, so I'm sorry. Please don't like come at me for showing you my shoulders. Um, and then I don't know, I'm not gonna have time to do anything this weekend because I have work and I have a million projects to do. And I don't know why teachers feel the need to give us a huge giant project right before finals week because then they like overlap each other and they don't go well because I just stress the entire time and like our final's not even that hard. It's, like, the last, like, project that, like, brings my grade down. <laughs> Speaking of grades, okay. <laughs> I have a 61. A 61 in geometry. I am an idiot and I can't do anything. I sit next to Maisie and we don't know anything. We don't know how to do it ever. And... I'm struggling and I got on like Roger Hub to see like what I needed to pass the course and it was like a uh, to finish with a 60 which is still passing you know D's get degrees <laughs> um, to pass and well I don't even know okay yeah I do and our final is 20% of our grade and I thought it was only 10 but I mean whatever and I need to get like a 56 on the final to pass. And I'm like, that's basically the impossible because I'm so dumb. And I'm like, if it's not multiple choice, I really, there's like, there's no hope. Like, come at me summer school because we're going to be BFFs because I don't know how to do anything ever. Sorry, I got cold. So I put back on my jacket. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, my summer. I hope my summer goes okay considering that I'm probably going to fail math and have to take a summer or summer school but I mean let's hope that doesn't happen but I mean I volunteered for this like child thing this child thing can I explain things better I signed up for this like volunteer like it's like a pre <laughs> it's like getting kindergart kid kindergartners or like ready for school so it's just like a cute little camp to like get them in like the process of getting ready for school. So I signed up for that and I'm ready to like mess things up this summer. Like I cannot wait to see what I destroy and it's, or create. I mean, let's not be too negative here, but probably just destroy. Um, in case you guys didn't know, which I know you didn't cause I've, I haven't talked about it. I have like the mildest form of asthma, you know? And so this weekend, I was at the drive-in with my friends, and we were just, like, talking, and I had, like, a severe asthma attack, like, the scariest asthma attack I've ever had. Like, could not breathe for, like, a minute and a half. Like, <laughs> my friends were freaking out, and my inhaler was, like, it was with me, but still it was pretty scary, and it took, like, seven puffs of my inhaler to, like, calm my crap down, and... I don't know, that was scary, and I'm just like, wow. I'm glad I live my life to the fullest at all times, so I don't have to worry about, um, like, dying and not, like, do things that I love, because I do, and I, I was doing things I love when I had that asthma attack. 
Um, what was I going to talk about? Um, Denmark. Okay. I also, if you guys like hear that, it's it's my being bag chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> I move a lot. Um, Denmark. I want to go to Denmark next spring break to visit Sila. Sila is our foreign exchange student and she lives in Denmark. And right now she's in America with us, but she leaves in like July and I really can't go that long without seeing her. So it's going to be really sad. But it's honestly not that much for like a round trip. I think it's like you can find tickets cheap for like like six fifty around there. It just depends like what airline you go through and if you wanna do just like a like no stops, you know. So I'd probably buy a plane ticket into Chicago and then Chicago to Copenhagen. <laughs> I'm so American, I'm sorry. But I seriously I I would love that so much. Like, I love Sila, and I love, like, I want to travel so bad, but, like, you know, there's always the fear of, like, not getting back into the country because, you know, scary crap happens. So there's that fear, but, I mean, my excitement overweighs the fear. <laughs> and I, I seriously, I'd have the best time ever, and I, I'd take you guys with me, like, I'd vlog the entire time, so that'd be pretty cool. And I really hope that happens. I mean, I like briefly talked about it with my dad and he seemed willing. So I mean, I mean, I still got to talk to my mom. So like, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, that was just like a brief little update or like a catch up with me because you know, I haven't filmed in a bit. And I don't know what I'm going to film next. I, I'm sure I'll come up with something stupid to film for you guys, but Thank you for watching and still like subscribing and liking my videos because that really helps guys <laughs> and it makes me feel good. So thank you and thank you for watching. I hope you guys had a good day and I will talk to you later.